Hey, what's up guys? One of the biggest things about being a human being is collecting all kinds of random knowledge and use it when necessary. Random fun facts are great for breaking the ice, impressing a date or even winning a pub quiz. So why waiting? Let's get digging. In January of 2017, a 100 foot asteroid nicknamed AG 13 passed by our home planet. It was less than a distance of the moon and just missed hitting our planet. Scientists only saw it was coming roughly two days before it could have hit our planet. Sounds like all of us got lucky. As stated by the newspaper, The Sun, a high-rise sized asteroid slipped quietly between the Earth and the Moon on the 9th of January 2017 and no one saw it coming. And if the asteroid had hit our planet, it would have exploded with a force equivalent to about 35 of the nuclear bombs which destroyed Nagasaki. Just to compare, imagine recent Beirut's blast happened on 4th of August killing 200 people and injured 5,000 others? Times that by 350. Wow, it could have wiped away half of the world's population. We are so busy complaining about 2020 without even realizing how lucky we were in 2017. Let's move on to our next one. Everyone knows the war that lasted ages but did you know the shortest war in history lasted only for 38 minutes? Did I just say 38 minutes? <laughs> yes, indeed I did. When the Sultan of British protected Zanzibar died and a new one took over without British approval in 1896, the Brits were not happy. Tension escalated when Sultan Khalid bin Bagash refused to step down but the British warships spent less than 40 minutes bombarding the palace before Khalid fled, marking the very quick end of Anglo-Zanzibar war. But history still lasted for 38 minutes though. Hey, how about we take our next fact a little creepy, shall we? Everyone knows there are different versions of Bible, right? But have you ever heard about the Devil's Bible? Yes, you heard me just right. The Devil's Bible, also called the Codex Gigas, is a legendary Latin manuscript that's said to be the product of a monk's bargain with the Satan himself. Now, that's what I call creepy. In the 13th century, a monk was about to be executed for his crimes unless he could compose a single impressive work in one night. To achieve this impossible task, the monk sold his soul to Satan and produced this 165 pound, 3 feet long book. If any of you feel this is a bunch of crap, I would honestly recommend you to check the National Library of Sweden where the Codus Jiggers still exists. The Devil's Bible is 36 inches tall, 20 inches wide and 8.7 inches thick. It contains 310 pages made from vellum from 160 donkeys. Originally, the Devil's Bible contained 320 pages, but at some point in the time the last 10 pages were cut out and removed from the book. No one knows why. The Devil's Bible has been given its name because of a full-size portrait of a devil. Portraits of the devil were common during the Middle Ages, but this particular portrait is unique. Here, the devil is portrayed alone on the page. The image is very big, 19 inches tall. There are several myths surrounding the creation of the devil's Bible, and they all involve the devil. As I mentioned earlier, one of the famous myths is that the scribe traded his soul to the Prince of Darkness so that he could complete the book in one night. As someone said, human beings are capable of doing unpredictable things. 
to make our next fact more interesting, what if I say the World War II could have been prevented not once but twice? You don't believe that, right? I was shocked when I was doing my research just as you are right now. As most of you know how the World War II had begun, right? If you don't, here is a quick glance. In 1933, when the German people voted for a great leader named Adolf Hitler, he promised to make his country great again. The Second World War was started by Germany in an unprovoked attack on Poland. According to History.com, on September 1, 1939, Hitler invaded Poland from the west. Two days later, France and Britain declared war on Germany, beginning World War II. Okay, let's not get distracted. So, how could the war have been prevented? Hitler was saved not once, but twice by two good souls who wasn't aware of their consequences. According to fact slides, Hitler was saved from drowning by a priest when he was four years old. But Hitler never admitted to the near drowning accident in later life. But a small cutting from an 1894 newspaper was found how a boy of four year old was saved from drowning. This confirms the story told by priest Max Tremel of how his predecessor Johann Kuberger had rescued the terrified Hitler. <laughs> well, if only the priest knew what he was doing. In another instance, and this happened during World War I, Henry Tandy, a highly decorated British private, claims to have encountered an enemy soldier wounded, who did not even attempt to raise his own rifle during World War I. Tandy chose not to shoot. The German soldier saw him lower his rifle and nodded his thanks before wandering off. Although disputed, that soldier is purported to have been Adolf Hitler. The good private spared a life without realizing that moment would cost us millions of souls. It is quite often forces of nature cannot be stopped, or in this case, despite the survival of near-death moments, it couldn't stop him becoming the unstoppable. That's it for today guys. If you like this video, a like and subscribe would be great. Thank you for watching.